those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I had a lovely subscriber ask me if I could show a clip of my puppers. So I'm going to show you guys a quick little clip right now. So this first clip is of Coda. She is Mama Bear. She is the mom to Meadow. The second clip here is of Meadow. She's very, very hyper. I could not get her to not jump on me while I was filming the little small clip of her. So you get an up close clip of Meadow. And these are our girls. They are the ones that you hear in all of our videos. They are the ones that are barking because they want to talk to you guys. So there they are. Just wanted to share them with you guys. But for today's video, I am doing a what's in my bag slash review of the Valentino Rock Stud bag. And there's a reason why I am doing a video on this bag. And I will let you guys know that here shortly. So I have my coffee here. Just refilled her up because I needed a second cup today. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the soul just perfectly. Okay, so for my Roman, not Roman, for my rock stud bag, um, I have added the attachment. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that first. I have the, what is this called? These, I think it's the rock stud guitar strap. I will link it down below for you guys. If you guys are thinking about getting this bag, I highly recommend getting this strap. If you have style that is similar to mine, I love this strap. I love the bag without the strap, but I love it 100 times more with the strap. It's very soft and cushiony. It's got the studs on there, but you cannot feel them. The back of it is very smooth on your shoulder. It's like a, forget what those are called. I'm having a brain fart kind of a day, so I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm going to have trouble explaining things to you. If I'm being honest, I have a brain fart kind of a day most days where I can't spit out the words that I'm trying to say, but that's just me moving on. So anyways, I love this. It just has little hooks here to hook onto your bag. And see, can you guys even see that? There you go. Hooks on so easily, and I just think it adds a... a not even a little bit. It adds a ton of style to the bag. I usually wear this one on my shoulder and let the chain that it comes with dangle. So there's that. And here is the bag. So I've been wearing this bag all week. I like to wear my bags the whole week before I do a video like this. That way I remember any pros or cons and I could talk about those with you guys. So here it is in all of her glory. Look how beautiful she is. So this particular bag is the crinkled leather rock stud bag in the size medium. I'm not sure if they make other sizes in this, but I did see on the website that this one is called the medium size. Mine has the gunmetal hardware, so it's not a silver hardware. This one does have silver hardware. I don't mind it. I like the contrast between the two. I think it just adds a little bit of something to it. Okay, so let's talk about the strap a little bit. It is a beautiful strap. I've never seen a strap quite like this, but when I bought this bag, I was worried about this digging into my shoulders because it doesn't have a leather break anywhere on it. So because of that, I was a little bit concerned. It does not dig into your shoulders. It is very, very comfortable. Um, I don't wear this crossbody with this strap. I don't know that I can say that I ever have. So I can't speak on that, on the com how comfortable it is crossbody. But on my shoulder like this does not bother me or hurt me whatsoever. So this bag also comes with a top handle here, which I love, especially for photos. Holding it on the top handle is just stunning. And then letting the sh two straps hang down. I never wear this bag without this strap. I have worn it for a week straight um, without the strap. So anytime I am testing something out, I will wear it for a week straight, um, however way I'm testing it out. So I have worn it a week straight without the strap and I do love it just as much, but I love the extra detail that this gives. So I usually wear it with this strap. Um, but the top handle, I, I'll get into that in a minute. We're talking about 
the aesthetic of Melissa, stay on topic. So it has a turn lock closure right there. Let's see if you guys can see that. I'll take the camera a little further away from me. To let me know if that is too far away. If you guys want to be up closer towards my face, if you guys watch uh, Coffee Break with Danny, welcome to my face. She's so cute. I love her. So anyways, if you guys want to be closer, let me know and I will definitely do that next time. Um, but it's got this suede lining on the inside, which is absolutely stunning. It's so soft and beautiful. And then I have mine filled, which I will show you what's in there shortly. Let's talk about pros and cons. So something I'm concerned about as far as a con goes with this bag, and it's not a con yet. It's just an, a concern. But I have seen on the um, the secondhand websites that this bag can tend to, if you carry it top handle a lot, it arches like this and it doesn't go back. I don't like the look of that. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you are interested in the bag, but you think that it might have trouble with wear and tear, look at the bag on the secondhand web websites because you will see, I like to shop on the real real. But you can see um, how that bag has worn over time and it, it tells a lot. So check out the real real, whatever style bag you're looking for and look at how that bag looks like after it's been worn for, se for several months or however long that person had it. Um, and you can see how it's gonna wear. So this is a concern of mine. I have seen on the real real that a lot of them are arched and they don't really go back mine kind of does that when i hold it like this and then i drop it back down it has a little bit of an arch i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that there you can probably see right here my finger can go right in there because it's not flat so that's a concern of mine because i love the way it looks flat on there and then the strap works perfectly fine i am five foot six i will show you guys mod shots here in a minute and it does work fine you do have to um Put the strap in itself do that here i was having mine just hooked on one on one on each side of the rings which to me makes more sense but um it's too long when i do it that way so i had a few of you guys thank you so much tell me to hook it within each other and it works perfectly now so i do believe that's the way it's supposed to be because if you hook it on the rings then you can't double up the strap and it works great as far as wear and tear i have none i think that the crinkle leather really helps with that let's see if i can show you guys no corner wear nothing i have no wear and tear at all and this hardware i'm going to show you guys a close-up because you're not going to believe it it doesn't scratch not at all valentino and i only own one bag so i can only speak on this one but as far as my experience goes, has the best hardware hands down. There is not one scratch on here and you would think with it being gunmetal that it would scratch easily and be silver underneath. No ma'am, not on this bag. Look at. No scratching whatsoever. I am amazed and I love it. I love the turn lock closure. I do have a love hate relationship with the suede as you probably can see right here the spikes from right here leave indentations on here but they're not like you can buff them out they're not bad indentations at all but long term i am a little bit concerned about that i haven't had this bag for quite a year yet but almost it's been like 10 or 11 months so and i do use this bag a lot it's one of my most used bags it's one of my favorite bags that i own and then inside is just a nice big pocket which i love it holds a ton so now that i've gone over pros and cons and of course the style i have to mention the style the style of this bag is a huge pro for me i love this bag it is melissa in a bag so so beautiful i love it it's gorgeous but another pro is how much can fit in here so i've been using this bag all week as i mentioned and this is what i truly have in my bag i can fit more in here but this is what I have, this is my essential. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I have in there. So I have my sunglasses, these are Ray-Ban sunglasses. As most of you guys know, I am a little baby when it comes to being out in the sun. I hate my eyes out in the sun. So here are my glasses, they are prescription strength. 
Um, I wear glasses on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't usually wear them in my videos because um, the ring light glares on the glasses and I don't like that. But I do love my glasses. I love the way I look at my glasses. I think that glasses are the cutest accessory. So I don't not wear them because I don't like them. I don't wear them because of the ring light. So anyway, I had a couple people ask me that. So that's why that's that's what the long answer is for. Um, so anyways, I have to carry my sunglasses with me everywhere. I love them to death. And then I keep them in the case. I would be okay with my sunglasses being scratched up, but I'm not okay with my everyday glasses being scratched up. So if there's a couple scratches, no big deal. My sunglasses, I'm just gonna wear them out in the sun. But when I take off my everyday glasses and put, I put them here in the case. So I wanna make sure I carry the case with me. And little fun fact, I won't buy a purse if my sunglasses cannot fit in there. They are an essential to me. And then next up, I have a face mask. I couldn't find my disposable face masks, which are my favorite. So I've been wearing this one, Santa Claus. It's so cute and I love that face mask. And then I have my wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. It's so beautiful. It's from the Wild at Heart collection. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. I've got some change in there. A couple, I like to keep a couple dollars. I don't usually spend cash, but um, I like to keep these for my kids when they need money for something. Then I have a little bit of cash in my wallet and I don't have to run to the bank. And then my cards, of course. So I've been loving this wallet a lot. If you guys haven't seen my um, unboxing on this, wallet i will link it down below for you guys but i've been really really enjoying it and i highly recommend it i think i spent 560 dollars on this wallet which is crazy expensive and with the price increase it's probably more than that my headphones just apple headphones these are old ones um i don't need to upgrade they work perfectly great and i love these and then green of course my favorite color Ooh that's a con of that bag so if you don't have much in it it tends to fall over because of the heaviness of the uh, top handle i have my josie maron whipped argan oil body butter ultra hydrating i use this as a hand cream and body lotion i have been loving this for my body i am super 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 dry and when i put lotion on an hour later i look ashy again not with this one because it has oil in it it's been working really, really well for me. So if you guys are like me and you're struggling with ashy skin, especially in the winter time, pick up the Josie Maron Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. I love it, it's been really great. I honestly don't love it as a hand cream though because um, then your hands are oily and you leave like oil prints all over. Like my desk is covered in oil prints from my hands. And then I have the Octavia um, Drizzle Drizzled chocolate fudge crisp bar. I am not on the Octavia plan anymore. I did it for a couple weeks and I struggled. And I think I struggled so much because I actually, I don't hate my body. I like my curves. I like the way I look for the most part. I would just like to lose five to 10 pounds. But um, I do still eat these as snacks. I love the bars. They are so yummy. So you, even if you're not trying to lose weight, if you want an alternative healthy snack, the Octavia, Snacks are delicious. I will link my coach down below for you guys because you do really need a coach to buy the stuff. Um, gum. I love to have gum because I'm always drinking coffee and nobody wants coffee breath. Just saying. Chapstick. Burt's Bees. I've been really loving the EOS one, but last time I went to the store, the EOS one was sold out. My keys, of course. I've got my crystal for my daughter. She says it brings good vibes, which could not be more perfect for me lately. And then another little, um, she, she said she put glitter, glitter and crystals inside of there. And then usually I have tampons in this back zip pocket here. So I can show you a quick little inside now that I've got it empty. Let's see. So inside is just a big black hole. It is suede all the way inside. Oh, I have a tampon in here. And there is a front pocket with a tampon with where I have a tampon and then the back pocket, which I like to put my tampons in the back pocket because I don't like to open my purse and then you can see um, my tampon. So I like to have them zipped up, but the back pocket is red and it says Valentino on there. Let's see, what does it say? 
yeah, it says Valentino on there. It says something else, but I can't see it. Um, so anyways, that is what's in my bag. It all fits perfectly. There is extra room. And then I'm going to quickly put this all back and I'm going to put my phone case in the bag. If you guys don't know, I do film on my phone. If you are considering starting up a YouTube channel, don't run out and buy a new camera. Start it on your phone and see if you like it and go from there. And then if you do like it and you start bringing in money from YouTube, then go buy yourself a new camera. But your phone works just as good. Okay, so I have everything inside of the bag now and I just wanna show you guys how that looks. So it definitely is more full. Let me pull this out so you can see. There is my phone case, so the phone fits in there perfectly fine. And then I just put these on top. I usually like whatever items I grab the most to be on top. And honestly, in Arizona, it's bright as hell. Sunglasses is what I grab the most out of my purse. And then sometimes I have my phone in my back pocket, but if I don't have my phone in my back pocket, my uh, phone is what I would grab second most. So here is what it looks like in all of its glory. I'm going to quickly pop up some mod shots for you guys. Okay, so here is the bag top handle, which I think is especially cute in photos. And now long shoulder, which is very comfortable. I like to wear it like this most often and then let the other strap dangle down. And now we are going to show it to you cross body. I don't often wear it cross body like this just because I like to wear my other strap when I wear it cross body, but it definitely is cute. And now we are going to show you how it looks long shoulder. Okay, so now I am showing you what it looks like with the additional strap. Please keep in mind that this additional strap is something that you have to buy separate, but it is the way that I like to wear the bag most often. I will say wearing it long shoulder like this, it does slip off my shoulder from time to time. All right, guys, so that just about wraps up the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about this bag, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always answer your guys' questions. There has not been once that I have not. So if you guys have any questions, please ask me. If you have questions about anything, please ask me. It can be about my makeup. It could be about my hair. It could be about my outfit. It could be about whatever I was talking about in the video. It could be a personal question. It can be anything, anything at all. And also video ideas. Please leave your video ideas down below. I will love to film those for you. I may not get to them right away because I do have videos planned out, but eventually I will get to them unless it completely has nothing to do with me and my lifestyle. Um, then it might not be a good idea for me to do it because maybe I'm not very knowledgeable about it or whatever that may be, which then in that case, I will just be upfront and honest with you and say that doesn't, um, isn't something I'm really comfortable making a video about or whatever it may be. But if you guys have any video ideas for me, please leave them down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Check out my other luxury bag videos down below. I do have a playlist of luxury bags so that you can find them more easily. But until next time, bye guys. And here's a little blooper for you guys. Make, me making funny faces. I tend to do this when I'm getting frustrated.